Today is November 10, 2014, and Obama came out today while in China and said he wants full-on net neutrality, and he claims the point of doing this is to open up the Internet which is completely Orwellian because the Internet is the last thing that we have free in this country, and Obama is doing everything he can to shut it down along with the Chinese and these other countries that are participating in this trade deal. And speaking of this trade deal, if you have been following my channel since the midterm election, I have been hammering that Mitch McConnell wants to set up trade deals with Obama being the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and this whole thing is a complete setup with the Republicans. I, it's now coming out into the light because Mitch McConnell won the election. He became Senate Majority Leader, and now he's talking trade deals. But this whole thing with all these world leaders that met this last week in Beijing to discuss this, this has all been going on for a while, and this trip has been planned, obviously. But they're trying to make it seem like, well, Mitch McConnell just got power, so now he wants to do this. This is all orchestrated, and Mitch McConnell is in on it. And so this article here says Obama says momentum building on historic Trans-Pacific trade deal. And part of the TPP is full-blown Internet censorship. You could be banned from the Internet permanently. I don't know how they plan on enforcing that, but that's part of the bill. It says Obama pushes FCC to turn broadband Internet into a public utility with revised net neutrality rules as Republicans claim it's Obamacare for the Internet. So Obama wants to let government come in and control the Internet, and we've seen how things have gone when government has stepped into any kind of bureaucracy or any kind of just platform, I guess you could say. It's made it worse. It creates lots of bureaucracy. It makes things slower. It wastes money. The Internet is extremely efficient. It's free, and they want to change that. So Ted Cruz says the Internet should not operate at the speed of government. FCC's first net neutrality plan was struck down by a federal court. No service should be stuck in a slow lane because it does not pay a fee. Why do we got to pay fees for the Internet? Why do we got to be taxed on this? See, that's what this is all about. This is all about having more taxes, paying money to the UN, the world body. President Barack Obama sided with open internet activists on Monday. See, they call it open internet, like, like the internet's not already open and free. It is open and free. The fact that I am allowed to post this video onto YouTube and say whatever I want without any kind of consequence proves the internet is free at the time being. I know YouTube has their own censorship BS that they like to pull, to pull on this, but it's not the U.S. government directly doing it. Urging the Federal Communications Commission to draft new rules that would reclassify the broadband net to regulate it like a public utility. The end result would be the hands of Internet service providers that want to cut special deals of services like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and Amazon to push their streaming content along a fast lane that ordinary Americans can't access. The FCC has been working on the new rule for seven months and received nearly four million comments from the public. Its first attempt at a net neutrality rule met with the judicial acts in January with a federal court sided with Verizon and ruled that the government agency lacks the legal authority to control how Internet companies set their prices. So this is full-blown communism you are looking at. Under communism, the government comes in and takes over all industry. Look at what's going on in Venezuela right now. Go look it up with the grocery stores. The grocery stores are run by the government. You have to you have to put your fingerprint in. You have to wait in a several hour long line, and they take your phone number to make sure you don't come back more than once a week. It's literally like the DMV at the supermarket in Venezuela, and that's what they want to do with the internet. The government does not need to come in and set the prices, and that's what's going on in all these other countries in the world, including this one, where the government comes into industry and starts manipulating the prices. That is called a centrally planned government, and that's what we are living under in America with the Federal Reserve and all these other agencies that are corporations that are for profit and are not out for our best interest. So this one says, FCC plans stealth internet tax increase. The relationship between the Internet and government has become a useful barometer of personal and economic freedom. Oppressive governments use the Internet to oppress political enemies, censor ideas, and spy on citizens. 
the United Nations and other international organizations see the Internet as an untapped opportunity for tax revenue and regulations to support political favorites. So that's what this is all about. Obama just got creamed in this election, and the main reason why he got creamed in this election is because people like us are putting videos on the Internet, other people are watching them, spreading them around. We have a whole alternative media that is functioning at a very high capacity right now and they want to end that and that's what this is all about this is about censoring people censoring dissenting opinions and only having cnn fox news and msnbc and your local news be the only one that gives you news because if you look at my channel there are all kinds of stories that you see that you're not going to hear anywhere else because the news refuses to report on them and then because those stories get out there and get spread around and other people start reporting on them then that's when change can actually happen, and that's what they want to stop. And my impression of all this stuff about the fast lanes is they want if they don't actually censor your web page, they're going to make it slower. So the web pages that the government likes, like msnbc.com, they're going to make it so that when you click on the link for that website, it'll pop up instantly. But let's say you want to watch one of my videos where I criticize the government. They might make it take 20 minutes for that page to load, and that's what we might experience in the future if we let them have their way. So Ted Cruz had said that this is Obamacare for the Internet. Let's find out what we learned about Obamacare just today. They are now admitting that the entire thing was all based on a lie so they can pass it. Obamacare architect. Lack of transparency was key to fooling stupid Americans. Just like the people, transparent, lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. And, you know, it's the second best argument. Look, I wish Mark was right. We could make it all transparent. But I'd rather have this law than not. So it's kind of like his reporter story. You know, yeah, there's things I wish I could change, but I'd rather have this law than not. So... There you have it. He just submitted that the entire Obamacare was a lie from the start to get it to pass, and the House of Representatives and the Senate need to get together at the first opportunity, and they need to repeal this entire law because this government should not be allowed to have laws that are based entirely on lies just the way they have wars that are based entirely on lies. So you have Obama who's telling us that the Internet will become more open and more free and just like everything else these people do, everything is a lie, just like this is a lie. Remember, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. They're essentially saying if you like your internet, you can keep your internet. Do not believe these people. Call your Congress people, call your senators, call your local officials. Let them know how you feel about this because this is the only thing that keeps America from going from partially free to going from full-blown totalitarianism where people like me get lined up and shot against the wall. And so this is why we're seeing all these security breaches with Target, Home Depot, now the Postal Service, even the White House website has been hacked. All these sites have been hacked, and it's my personal opinion that they are either having this happen or they are allowing it to happen so that if it happens enough times, then they can then come out and say, well, we got to fix the Internet because there's all these problems with hackers, and if you just let us tinker with it, it'll get better. And the last thing I want to show is they're over there in China right now meeting to talk about this, and they're talking about literally ending the freedom for America and whatever freedom these other countries have left. And in doing so, they have literally dressed up like North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il, meet in secret and pass this. Look at this. They are literally dressing like Kim Jong-il so they can talk about taking away our freedom on the internet. If that doesn't show you what's really going on here, then there's nothing else I can do to convince you because the fact that they dress like this to then take away our internet freedom, to me that, that says everything. And I've been told that this is some Chinese ceremonial garb, but hey, if the ceremonial garb is the same as the North Korean dictator, then it cannot be good. So please, let your legislators know, spread this around, we need to keep our internet. This is the most important thing going on in the in this country, in the world, because if we don't have our internet and we are not allowed to spread our information, then it's going to be over for us.